to the Middle East to provide more protection for U.S. forces and interests overseas, according to the Pentagon. I can confirm that they are not going to Israel, and then again, they are intended to support regional deterrence efforts and further bolster U.S. force protection capabilities. The deployed forces are coming from Fort Bliss, Fort Sill, Fort Liberty, and Fort Cavazos. We're going to continue to communicate with our partners on the importance of civilian safety, but we also recognize Israel's inherent right of self-defense as well. Israeli military officials say they're preparing for a ground offensive against Hamas following the militant group's fatal attacks on Israel earlier this month. We are continuing to support uh, Israel's military security assistance continues to flow to them as needed almost on a daily basis. This latest conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians has caused more than 1,400 deaths in Israel and nearly 6,000 in Gaza since the start of the war, according to officials from both sides. Some leaders of the European Union are calling for a humanitarian pause in the war so that much-needed aid can be brought into Gaza. We're working with partners on the ground to see if we can accelerate and increase the flow of humanitarian assistance uh, in. I'm John Lawrence reporting. This is Jeremiah 1545. Therefore hear ye the counsel of Yahweh that he have taken against Babylon and his purpose that he hath proposed against the Palestinians. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, I can present this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson. Um, and as you can see, these troops are being drawn into the Middle East, man, uh, for the war to end all wars, okay? All right? And it says, um, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. <sighs> and the least of the flock is Amalek, Okay? All right, which is, uh, you know, these Ish people, okay, over there in the land of Israel. And um, they're causing, well, Yahweh Shemir al is causing these armies to uh, come into the Middle East, man. All right. And, you know, they're, uh, they're basically pulling in these other nations. Well, basically, they're pulling in the American troops right now. All right. And um, <laughs> this war is a getting ready to go hot, man. This is Joel 3 and 1. Behold, in those days and at that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them for my people and for my heritage, Israel. And the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is uh, Yahweh's Shapat, which means Yahweh's uh, judgment or his decision, all right? All right, and which is the Middle East, where he's going to um, judge and destroy all these nations. All right, for what? The controversy of Zion, for what you've done to his people, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land, which is why you have this war. All right. Because the scripture says they had parted my land with the, uh, the spiteful minds, all right, with the joy of their heart, man. All right, they divided it by line. So now you have these two factions, these two heathen factions fighting over a land that's not theirs. And they have cast lots for my people and given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl, sold a girl for wine that they might drink, right? So all these heathens uh, uh, pursuing the Psalms, the 83rd chapter, have con colluded to uh, bring us into slavery. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will you render, render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? See, that's the time we're coming in. These nations are about to get recompense for what they've done to the nation of Israel. All right, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things, the children also of Judah. And, uh, and you can see that on the Ark of Titus, man. 
All right. Esau, Edom raiding our temples, man. All right. All right. That was Titus uh, Vespasian. All right. All right. The children of uh, uh, of Israel. Yeah, that's why I was called the, uh, the Ark of Titus, man. All right. Uh, the children also of Judah and the children of Israel have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border, right? <laughs> the Grecians, all right? Which the original Greece were the children of Japheth, but they were taken over by um, Alexander the Great, which was a Macedonian, which was an Edomite, all right? So now you have these uh, Edomites calling themselves Greeks, right? Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head and will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah and they shall sell them to the Sabians to a people far off for Yahweh have spoken it, right? And we're yet this day in our captivity, man. We're yet this day in our slavery, all right? But you're about to be put into slavery. See, this after this war... You know, the Lord, the, you know, because the Lord, as scripture says, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, he causes wars to cease from the ends of the earth. See, you know, and it says, uh, by, by these, uh, by me shall they be ended and no other, right? Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. All right. So Yahweh Bashem Yahshah is going to be the one to crash this party and end this war. All right. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, right? <laughs> and that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is doing through his angels. He's wake, he's he's uh, preparing war by working on the mind of these uh, world leaders, man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up, right? So this is so all roads lead to uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and there's nothing you could do, uh, uh, you heathens could do to avert this. It, it is inevitable, all right. Yahweh Bashem Yahshah has spoken it. So you're going into slavery. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going uh, to... You're going into war, all right? And I think that's what I'm going to call this lesson. You, you're going to war. You have no other choice, man, because Yahweh Bashem Yahshah said so. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning, pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I'm strong. So all these nations are, are, are putting money into uh, their military now for this war, war man. Yahweh Shemir Asha is going to make it good, man. Said he has opened up his armory, man, and brought forth the uh, the weapons of his uh, indignation, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right. One of those main rep weapons being the nuclear bomb. All right. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither calls thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, Je Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. All right. So, so, so Yahweh Bashem is getting ready to judge all these nations, man. <laughs> Put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get ye down for the press is full. The fats overflow, overflow for their wickedness is great. Right, and we're at the height of all wickedness, man. You know, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. All right. So the Lord is going to cause this war to happen, man. All right. You know, and there's nothing anybody could do. You, you are going to war, man. You're going to war, man. All right. This is Jeremiah 51. The word of Yahweh spake against Babylon uh, and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Right. And what then? what is then is now. All right. This is a, 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 a future. This is, a, you know, talks about what, what, what happened in the past, but it can be applied to our day now. All right. As the scripture says, all things are double. All right. Declare ye among the nations and publish, because this is the new Babylon, by the way. All right. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up standards 
publish and conceal not say babylon is taken Baal is confounded mordach is broken in pieces her idols are confounded her images are broken in pieces right and the lord's cutting off witchcraft from babylon that left hand power is being uh, 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 um, diminished for out of the north there cometh up a nation against her which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein they shall remove they shall depart both man and beast in those days and in that time saith the hour the children of israel shall come they and their children of judah children of judah together going and weeping they shall go and seek yahweh their power they shall ask the way to zion with their face thitherward saying come let us join ourselves to yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten right and that's what um is happening right now with our people with the elect of our people they're waking up to who they are and returning to the lord right my people have been lost sheep their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversaries said, we offend not because they have sinned against Yahweh. Right. So, yeah, you, you, you're still going to pay. All right. You, you're definitely still going to pay for what you've done to the Lord's people, man. The habitation of justice, even Yahweh, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Right. So it's going to be a whole bunch of nations. Really, the only ally America is going to have is uh, uh, Israel, man. Because as the scripture says, the beast shall hate the whore. That's NATO and the EU, man. They're going to turn against uh, Babylon the Great, which is a miracle. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their expert man. None shall return in vain. So this place is going to get destroyed, man. And Chaldea shall be a spoil, and all the spo that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith Yahweh. Because ye are, were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyer of my heritage, because ye are grown fat as a heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. And the mother of America is a uh, great Britain, man. And they're going to be confounded because they're going <clears> to <throat> receive an ultimatum from Russia, man. They already have. Hey, you're going to have to pick a side and it better not be the wrong side. If you know what I mean. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. All right, and that's what the Lord is going to turn this place into. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Okay, so this place is going to get smacked with all kind of plagues, man. Mainly the missiles, man. To top it all off, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against Yahweh. Shout against her, and those arrows are nuclear missiles. Shout against her about round about. She have given her hand, her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of Yahweh to take vengeance upon her, as she has done do unto her. Cut off the sower from Babylon and him that handled the sickle in the in time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people and they shall flee everyone to his own land. So, yeah. The Lord's, yeah, the Lord's going to um, have this place nuked. <laughs> All right. Uh... Matter of fact, let me jump down to 22. This is 22. A sound of Babel, bat, battle is in the land. <laughs> Babel. <laughs> this is what this place is, Babel. A sound of battle is in the land and of a great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation for the, uh, among the nations, right? So, yeah, man, and, and America has been the hammer of the earth, man. I've laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. Uh, as it says in the book of Obadiah, 
that 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 they that eat that bread have laid a wound under thee, man. All right. So the Lord has used these other nations to snare you up and trap you up. And thou was not aware, thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against Yahweh. Yahweh hath opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Right, mainly, like I said earlier, mainly the missiles, man. For this is the work of Yahweh power of hosts in the land of Chaldeans. Come against her from the uttermost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, destroy her utterly, let nothing of her be left. And as you can see, there's a migrant, so-called migrant crisis, which is really an invasion. So you're going to have this place being invaded and it's being invaded right now as we speak. All right. Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe to them for their day has come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yahweh, our power, the vengeance of his temper, temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, right? You know, because the scriptures talk about how uh, those arrows are going to go from one end of the earth to the other, man. So those are missiles. Camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, do unto her. For she have been proud against Yahweh, against the, old, the Holy One of Israel. Real. All right. So, yeah. Your pride is about to be answered. Therefore shall her young men fall on the streets and shall be cut off in that day, saith Yahweh. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. For thy day has come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. And, and I will kindle a fire in his cities and it shall devour all round about him. Right. You know, mainly that nuclear fire. Okay. Thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of, Ju children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. Yahweh, power of, it, of hosts, is his name, and that's the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, man. All right. All right. The children of Judah and the children, children of uh of Jerusalem, man, the children of Israel, right? We were oppressed together in this land. The Redeemer is strong. Yahweh power of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. So he's going to judge you. That's what plead means. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, save Yahweh, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon their princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dope. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon her horses, and, uh, and upon their chariots, and and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. All right. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of the graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. So, yeah, man, all these idols are coming down, man. And this is the number one hub of idolatry uh, uh, throughout the earth, right? Therefore, the wild beasts of the desert with, with the wild beasts of the island shall dwell there, and isles shall dwell therein, and it shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. All right, so this is going to be the forbidden zone, so to speak. As Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith Yahweh, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. All right. Right. Yeah, so that's pretty much well, I could keep going. Aren't they great nation? And many kings shall be raised up from the coast, right? Mainly Russia. All right, because he's the Russia is being a guard unto all these nations. All right. They shall hold the bow and the lance, they are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar. Like the sea, they shall ride upon horses. Everyone put in array like a man to battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. 
the king of Babylon have heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble. Anguish took hold of him, and pains as a woman of as a woman in travail, as of a woman in travail. Right. So yeah, man, <laughs> these these rulers are going to be terrified. They're going to go hide in their bunkers, as the scripture says. Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bleed, bring the uh, calamity of Esau upon him and the time that I will visit him. You no, know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, man. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan unto the habitation of the strong. Right? All these, these nations are gonna, are gonna come surround this bitch, man. But I will make them suddenly run away from her and who is the chosen man that I may appoint over her who is like me and who will appoint me the time and who is that shepherd that I that will stand before me. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he have taken against Babylon and his purposes that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Right. And that least of the flock, that's Amalek, man. You know, I read it earlier, but, you know, here we go again. You know, so nice had to say it twice. At the noise of the taking Babel, at the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved and the cry is heard among the nations. And as uh, you know, the Book of Revelations it talks about how all these nations they're gonna be weeping and wailing and standing afar off uh, at the looking and looking at this destruction because they know that they're not gonna make money off this whore anymore, man. You know. So that's what's coming, and that's where we're at, man. The war, the end all war. As the scripture says, that the second war is past, but the third war cometh quickly, man. And it, and it's and it's hasting, man. And the Lord's hastening the day for the elect's sake. Okay, so here's a little lesson I wanted to do. Uh, hope it was less uh, edifying. Uh, shalom.